What's going on guys? How are we doing today? Today's video, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite characters right now in the game, especially moving forward with Territory Wars and Grand Arena Championships. Some of these are going to be kind of multi-uses um, in different modes, you know, GAC, Conquest, TW, all that sort of stuff. It's kind of sad to say like how Arena is pretty much dead because I've always like to like include in these types of lists my arena team but it's just not that way anymore you can really just not i mean you still want to get some of these rewards but not as like you don't have to be as hard and crazy about it as you uh, previously needed to be but it's going to be more about in this list rather moving forward in these lists um the hot characters or the ones you might want to work on um just that little five list will be more kind of concerned with the territory wars and the gac the more pvp-esque type of modes right so let's go and talk about this um i have five of them today most of these uh are going to be kind of to do with the new marquees that we just got um leading up to star killer um but i do want to make another video in the next uh, few days talking about gac teams specifically and teams you want to remod so kind of this is like a little bit of a leeway into that kind of a video but today is going to be more of just like a generalized kind of a list so five characters let's start off with moff gideon moff gideon he is a hot character right now because of his counters in gac and also in tw so i mean this is a pretty easy one that's why he's first on my little list none of these are in like a specific order i just thought i'd go after moff gideon first so moff gideon he is a very fast character, as is. I have a 161 speed set on him, and I wouldn't even say this is, you know, that fast. You can definitely bump him up to, like, 370 plus if you wanted to. Um, but pretty much, you guys know how he works. If he goes first, he uses a controller situation ability, and then it resets the cooldown, or re resets the TM on the enemy and your allies, and then it gives your teams uh, a little bit more TM. So you pretty much got to go first. It's guaranteed to go first. It's great in a lot of counters. Uh, the main one why I feel like he's on my list right now is to continuing for GAC and even, I guess, in TW2 kill more Darth Revens. Um, also, I know that if you can have him fast enough with some other guys, I think it's the Bounty Hunter team, you can kill a gas team as well. So that's another great option. He is definitely more for the offensive. If by some chance you want to throw him on defense with like a whole entire remnant team, then I guess you could do that too. But I don't think that's that bad or that, that good of a team, because guess what? You kind of want Dark Trooper with the other troopers. These uh, these guys are fantastic. Dark Trooper is a must. He's not on my list. Actually, Dark Trooper is not on my list, because I, I feel like if I were to add him on my list, he's pretty much hand-in-hand -hand with Moff Gideon, I guess depending on the speeds and all that of like the teams you're fighting, but he's really good with Moff Gideon. Anyways, um, Gideon's my first super fast guy. He's not just used in troopers. He's used in other teams as well. Another team to use him with is like the Triumvirate and then having him as a fourth or a fifth and then resetting cooldowns and uh, resetting the TM and then that way your guys go first, you know, same thing. Um, so he's really good in that way as well. Next up, let's go after another little, uh, Empire character, which is Rail Guard. This one, I, I can't really speak for myself. It's more for my guildmates that have really brought me to make him or i'm not sure if this is him or her <laughs> for the royal guard but making this character um in my list uh the talk about how good this character is with relics and how some guilds top tier guilds in the game ma ka ti whatever i don't even know i think it's ma they're, they've been saying that this is one character that they're going to be definitely wanting with relic nines and it's it's a good option it really is um, because if you think about it this way, you know, with this Zeta on uh, the Royal Guard, you have more max health, right? And in GAC and TW, you might be not having to, like, mirror match it, because typically in arenas, you know, how it was previously, it was a mirror match. So, you know, it doesn't matter who goes where, or not mirror matches, it was with Master Kenobi's versus Lord Vader's, and using Commander So could, like, one-shot the Royal Guard. So that was like, okay, whatever, you know, it's not going to be that much good anyways, no matter if you have a Relic 3 or higher. So... But for other modes, for the TW and GAC, you're not always going to have the option to use Master Kenobi and Commander Soka to kill a Royal Guard and Lord Vader. So in those teams where you're not using a Commander Soka, this is where this character shines immensely. Um, so pretty much um, with Relics and her, uh, uh, let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her her. I, I just think it fits better um, because she's pretty much wearing a dress. You get, you get some more Masteries here. The Mastery on this character, it's a tank, so... You get a lot of the armor increase, health steal, and protection. The health, or rather the protection and the armor are some of the biggest things to 
a mastery like this as a tank. And if you have a, a modded Royal Guard for a lot of defense sets, let's say it's Relic 9 and you have full-on defense sets with as much defense as possible, protection, all that sort of stuff, well, it is going to be very hard to go and kill that Royal Guard. And if so, by some chance a Lord Vader is able to pop his ultimate while Royal Guard is alive, there is no way you are able to kill that, that team. There is just no way. It's kind of like an easy win for the Lord Vader team. So this is a reason why this character is on my list, but this is more of like a, you need this character Relic 8, Relic 9. I would say Relic 8's going to be just fine. I don't think Relic 9 is that needed. That's more for like the top end guilds, but like even I'd say Relic 7 or 8 is perfect for a character like this, just modding for all the health and defense mods. I actually want to do a video talking about defense mods here soon because of how important they have become, especially for characters like Royal Guard, who are tanks. So Royal Guard's amazing. It's more for the Lord Vader team, but that's more for TW, I guess, more than GAC. Next up, let's go after Kyle Katarn. My next one on my list is Kyle. Um, this guy actually just recently got up to gear 10. I do need to get him to gear 11, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put him a little bit faster. He's gonna be he's gonna be one of my more important teams actually for defenses in my GAC. This is more of a GAC team, even for TW. You can set a team like this. So actually, to prove my point with this team, um, is is to show the entire Rebel fighter team and I guess Rebel team. Let's just go with the faction. Um, it's with Mon Mothma, with Kyle, so those two, Pow, and then we're going to be using uh, the Scout and Cara Dune, so those five. And if you guys can see my characters, I have everybody besides Mothma at gear 12. So, and my Kyle's going to be gear 11 because he's not 7 star. So, Kyle is really why this is now such a great team on defense, because it forces a pretty strong counter. Um, in this team right here, you know, Kyle... On his unique, it says that he gains 10% TM for each Rebel Fighter ally. So that is going to be, I think, if you include him, um, that's four because I don't think Mothma's considered a Rebel Fighter. She's not. So you're going you're gonna to be getting 40% TM from what it looks like. So that's going to be enough to bump you up to get the first turn. Uh, maybe it, uh, I don't know, maybe this counts as Mon Mothma as one too, but I'm pretty sure that's 40%. So 40%, it's going to pretty much guarantee you to go first. Um, and then it just starts the entire train with Pow and his Zeta on his special, or rather his, uh, where is it again? Um, yeah, his unique, rather, not, not special, the TM on his, on his unique, and then also the TM from Scout on his basic. So there's so much TM here, and it's just like a nice little loop going over and over again. And this is a great team for either GAC or TW because it forces a strong counter. So let's say, for example... In this team, you get outsped. Usually, you would want to use like a trooper team or a bounty hunters. But if you get outsped by a Kyle Katarn, you no longer can use those teams because they're going to go first. Especially in the trooper team, if you're using, if you're going to be using a Cara Dune and she goes before like a Piet goes, she stuns them all on her uh, her special ability on her first special. So that's a no go. And same thing kind of goes with the bounty hunters, the TMR. So, well, what do you want to use next? Well, you're going to be probably needing to use something a little bit stronger. And most people might be wanting just to use CLS against a Mon Mothma team. And let's just say, for example, you use a CLS or a better team to kill a Mon Mothma. And it's like mine only with your 12 characters. Well, then guess what? You just wasted that many good characters and, and teams and relics against the gear 12 team i saw on defense and then on top of that what if i set a team in on the back wall rather that's like a gl or another gas team or darth revan well you just kind of screw yourself over a little bit so that's a great team right here with kyle katar he is phenomenal um so that's him the next one i want to go after let's see here is going to be uh darth town i think where did she go I can never find her, man. <laughs> oh, she's right there. I, I just skimmed over her. Darth Town. Um, pretty simple. I, I kind of talked about it in my last video or two before. On her Sith Cruelty Unique, she gives out 20 extra speed. So pretty simple. It makes the Darth Revan team that much quicker. It stops counters like um, near matches. It can stop even sometimes gases. It can for sure stop bounty hunters and troopers. Pretty much counters here in teams I'm rather setting. They're going to be stopping those troopers and the... And the bounty hunters, which are definitely some of the more um, counter-heavy teams these days that we do happen to see. Um, so yeah, we have Darth, Darth Talon on my list. Well, that's one. Kyle Katarn, two, three, four. And the fifth one I want to talk about is going to be Shock T. So Shock T is going to be the last one on my list today 
because of her counters and, and what teams that she uh, is with that counters some GL. So she's great encountering teams like, for example, Lord Vader's. Debuff heavy teams with her cleanse is going to be a good use of Shock T. Um, and also there's there's some stuff in the works with uh, Shock T and some uh, some troopers that can kill a specific team as well in, in, uh, in some different modes. So that might be... Uh, something something different i don't know i'm not really too fleshed out there but it's definitely good that's not the reason why she's on my list today though she's on this list because she is very versatile she is a jedi in the galactic republic um tag right there and she has her little heals she can dispel and she has the cleanse the cleanse is a very big thing right now in the game especially with these debuff heavy teams um so using this character with you know a jml a jmk or using you know whatever team that you need to use her with because she's gonna be so versatile um, she does give herself some TM on her unique, so if you wanted to use her with like, uh, I don't know, let's just say you're using this team or this character with Master Luke against uh, Lord Vader. Well, then she's getting a lot of TM regardless if she gets hit, which fuels this, uh, this uh, Assault Team cleanse to happen even more frequently. And if you target herself, she gives out some more speed to herself and then just making her go a lot more fast, right? So she is phenomenal. Um, to like mod her, just mod her as fast as possible. Mine's not that fast right now because it's a lot of remodding, but... She is really good with some speed, and uh, if you don't want to use her with that, you know, Master Luke team or JKR or JKL, well, you can always use her with clones because she has some major uses with clones. Like, if, you, if you're in GC and you're like, okay, I didn't really use Shock T at all, I don't need to use her with my Master Luke or my Master Kenobi, you can use her with Bad Batch or the 501st if you have either or. So, great character here. I think Shock T is very versatile, especially in those two modes. So, guys, that's about it for today. Um, just want to go after just these five characters. And kind of, uh, and I'll bring bring to the to the spotlight what these guys can bring uh, forth, bring forth in uh, your GAC and TW. Um, I was gonna bring up Mara Jade, but she is <laughs> she's a little early to say because I haven't really seen a whole lot with her. From what I've seen, I watched Arnold stream today. Um, this is a pretty good Zeta here. I think this is a Zeta that gives out more TM to EP. So. She is one that I think is also great, even at low star, but the team that she goes with is EP Invader. I'd have to kind of play it out and test myself to see really what she can do, even at a low star count, because not everybody will be able to have her with uh, Gear 13 and Relics. Anyways, that's it. What are you guys' thoughts about my five? Let me know down below. And if you guys have anything to add, or if you want me to do any more videos, let me know as well. Have a great one out there, guys. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace out and have a good one. Bye, guys.